How do you know that? I, 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 I just think it's, it's just... <laughs> oh, God, I, is this awkward? I feel like if I tell you, I'll, I'll only look bad that I didn't know the other things. <laughs> but my father-in-law, <laughs> my father-in-law is a farmer. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Your delectation. Bong quiz. <laughs> Fingers on buzzers, Ed. Okay. Okay. If you want, you can phone a friend during this. I can't because I'm using my phone to record my end of the podcast. <laughs> Unlu- unlucky. <laughs> unlucky. Sean? Yeah? What you're at a distinct advantage because you're not using your phone to record this. Yeah, no, you can but phone I don't a friend. Know anyone. You've got a free go. You can phone. You don't know anyone. No. Oh, well, that is a short lived advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Question one. We always start easy on the quizzes on this show, Ed. Okay. Question one. When we don't believe someone, we might use the abbreviation BS. For example, I might say, I'm going uh, BS on that, you lie. Am I buzzing? I'm buzzing. <laughs> I buzzed. I made a buzz noise. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what does Bull. the B stand for in BS? Ed Byrne. Bull. What bull. It stands for bull. It does stand for bull, one point. Yeah. He's on the board. Oh, where's my pen? There it is. Well, you do want me to buzz in? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. What if, right. Unless Sean might buzz in before you, and then. Okay. Yeah. And then you've, then see, you've seen quizzes she before. Has right? definitely has, she definitely has an advantage because she's in the same room as you, and her buzz will be registered before mine. <laughs> No, no, no. I've, no. I, I've taken account of that. I often just ignore Sean about what inch. He three. ignores me. <laughs> I have a disadvantage. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Yeah, okay. you, you have a disadvantage from being married to me. And that out. goes mm. to the quiz and many other areas. <laughs> Stop shaking the frozen milk. <laughs> Is there any milk in it coming yet? No. Oh, God. I know. Won't be long. Question two. <laughs> According to Wikipedia, and it's the exact wording I'm looking for, what is a bull? <laughs> that was a half ass buzz of every other one. A buzz. Um, what is a bull? Don't stall. <laughs> uh, it is a male cow. Um, buzz. <laughs> can I have a Some go? Of the worst half ass buzz I've ever heard this. Um, well, I wasn't sure if I could also buzz after someone's yeah, already given yeah, it an why answer. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Um, it is the male of the bovine. Variety. It's a ma- male of, of the, it is a bovine male, an adult bovine male. I need more. I need more. And uh, also a horned. male whale. It's horned. With, I need more. Um, no, it's a specific aspect of a male cow. It's a specific bollocks. aspect. That's yeah? still bollocks. It is. What? <clears throat> oh, sorry. That's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like bollock, bollocks. Is it, is it? It's bollocks. Is it? Yeah. It's un, an, an unsterilized male. Bovine, is it? Uh, well, no, it's, it's the word. Um, it is. A, it is, according to Wikipedia, an intact, intact adult nice. male of the species Bos taurus. I'm going to give you a point for bollocks, Sean. Mm. Question 2A. If a male cow is not intact, Ooh. what is the animal called? Fingers on buzzers. You should know this, Sean. Why? I should know this. Because you're of farming stock. I'm not, though. You are, your family it's were farmers. A, is it a heifer? Ah. Uh, I haven't written that down, but I think it... <laughs> I, I, I might be wrong, then. It's probably yeah, I might then. be wrong, yeah. Isn't a heifer female? I yeah, think I think you're right. Female. You're probably right, yeah. We'll take, a point, a guess. we'll take a point away there, because a heifer <laughs> might be female. You're probably yeah. right. It is female. A heifer's a female cow who have not yet given birth to a calf. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I can tell you that's a two A, a steer, an ox, or a bullock. You should have had that. No. Yeah, bullock. Of course. Uh, question three: Bulls are much more muscular and more aggressive than cows, <laughs> with thicker bones. Yes. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> yeah. But what other features distinguishes a bull from a cow? Three points <laughs> available. Three <laughs> points available. Oh no, hang on, shit. Uh, horns. No, He's cows can have true. horns. I cows know. can have horns. Cows can have horns. Edward is very right. A horns. If this was KY, you'd get a ding, ding, ding. No. A ring through its nose. <laughs> yes, no. they develop them. They, they grow <laughs> them. Yeah. <laughs> they're like about two years old. They've evolved. <laughs> yeah. That's like saying, what distinguishes have- a man from a woman? Shirt and tie. <laughs> mm. They have Pick penises. They have penises. They do. Do you know what? <laughs> I've only got three answers down here. I took from Wikipedia, and that's not mentioned. <laughs> it's absolutely true though <laughs> I can't give it to you though because it's not in the list <laughs> that seems highly do they, unfair do they snarl <laughs> is it something to do with their noses 
Will you stop? No, we know. If you, they've got a regular. We know. <laughs> no, no, obsessed no, no, with the bull's nose. Go, and cows. Oh, no, they do, do they? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On Wikipedia, it says bulls are much more muscular and more aggressive than cows. What other features distinguish them? I know what it is. Cows go moo and bulls go <laughs> Third one that distinguishes them is a large bony head with protective ridges over the eyes. No mention of a penis. Question four. Bullseye was a popular UK, UK TV game show with a darts theme hosted by presenter Jim Bowen that sometimes attracted audiences of 20 million a week. Mm-hmm. Jim had a Agreed. sidekick, an animated mascot called Bully. But what colour were Bully's trousers? Buzzed. Sean. Blue. One point. Yeah. Three, dun, 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 dun. What was that? <clears throat> the music. Okay. <laughs> Question five. You're in a market, in a mart, in a livestock market. Mm-hmm. You have been asked to bring home the most fertile bull. What do you do? Buzz. Buzz. Sean buzzed first. Yeah, but okay. you're supposed to ignore me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ed, I can give you a multiple choice. That seems unfair if uh, I'm the only one being offered. But fair enough. <laughs> Is it <clears throat> measure the circumference of his scrotum? That's A. At a mart. <laughs> in, in front of everyone. In front of everyone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. With a pencil behind your ear. And a tape measure. <laughs> but, but using your tongue to measure. <laughs> <laughs> you can only use your tongue to measure. <laughs> but also, why don't, they just school rules. Give, well, why don't they just give the measurement on a little slate or something? Why do you have to go under and everyone individually measure? <laughs> I don't know. Every I don't, I'm not running the livestock market. <laughs> okay. Mm. B. Take a semen sample, throw it against the wall, and see if it sticks. <laughs> <laughs> C. Hold his testicles, not penis. So you've got to hold that ab- above. Hold his testicles underwater and see if bubbles come to the surface. The more bubbles, the more <laughs> fertile. That's egg again. <laughs> what? That's yeah. how you boil an egg. Oh, yeah. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I think I. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's more of a bicycle puncture, that. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm I'm sticking to my initial answer, which was the largeness of the balls, i.e. the circumference of the testicles. I'll describe I mean, it. that is spot on, Ed. I'm gonna, you're off the board. You're off the blocks. <laughs> you're out the blocks with one point. How do you know that? I, 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 I just think it's just... Oh, God, have I... Standard, sorry, is this awkward? Have I broken? Um, is, this, is this awkward? I feel like if I tell you, I'll, I'll only look bad that I didn't know the other things. <laughs> but my father-in-law, <laughs> my father-in-law is a farmer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is he a bull farmer? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he, he's a beef, beef, beef and lamb. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, true. Nice. Do you and get yes, free- and yet I didn't know the the other differences between no. bulls and cows. It's three one to show. <laughs> okay. It's two points right now. Hang on, hang on. I've got two points. I, yeah. you got, Have you? I got, I got I bull right. You got one taken away, didn't you, for something? Ed's- yeah, you got one taken away for something. <laughs> Fingers on buzzers. Quick fire. <laughs> Do What's bulls have a fibroelastic penis? Yes or no? Oh, I beg your pardon? I missed that, sorry. It's supposed to be quick fire, that. <laughs> 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 what? Yeah, go on. I don't know. No, you missed it. Okay. It's a quick fire question. Do bulls have a fibroelastic penis? Yes or no? Bulls, yes. Edburn. I'm going yes. Is the right answer? <laughs> it says, given the small amount of erectile tissue, little enlargement occurs after erection. The penis is quite rigid when not erect and becomes ah. more rigid during erection. I believe the term for that is a shower, not a grower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to give you another point for that, Ed. You should definitely have a point for that. It's three all. It's all on this. Who was the first American woman to fight on foot? In the Plaza of Mexico, the world's largest bullfighting arena. Figures on buzzers. I have no idea. Put a timer on this, Barry. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea. It's <laughs> genuinely. It's like as long as I have a think, hole in the air or something. Think the first American get... woman to fight off into the Plaza of Mexico. Um, I'm going to throw it over to Sean. Ed, you can phone a friend <laughs> if you want. Oh, no, you can't. I, again, I'm using my phone. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Oh. Sean? What? You're going to phone a friend? Well, can I? Yeah. <laughs> Can I phone Jen Brister? Uh, why do you want to phone Jen Brister? Because she's half Spanish. Comedian Jen Brister? Yeah. Hi, Hi Jen. everyone. <laughs> Thanks for doing this, Jen. Thanks for doing this, Jen. I mean, I, mean, I don't know what I'm doing, but... We're not 100%. I'm, uh, I'm 100%. I'm yeah, you. I'm the host of this do. quiz. Okay, Rod Gilbert, tell me. Okay. So, we're in the middle of a quiz about bulls. <laughs> it's three all. 
Okay. <laughs> you could win it for Sean. Okay. All right, Sean, I'll see what I can do. For, Thank I'm going to be honest, a flimsy reason. <laughs> tenuous, I think. Tenuous. tenuous. It is tenuous. Tenuous? Tenuous to the point of racially insensitive, <laughs> I, would, I would go as far as to say. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, but, I mean... but, but culturally appropriate. So, <laughs> culturally appropriate. Okay. Mm-hmm. Somewhere between culturally appropriate and racist. And utterly offensive, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The next voice you hear is going to be Sean's, Jen. I don't, I don't okay. quite know what the question is. <laughs> okay. I mean, <laughs> she is at a disadvantage that she doesn't know what the question is. Okay, well, then I'm going to struggle to answer it, but I'll do my best. Barry, if you could put the clock on, please. You've got 30 seconds to try and win it for Sean. Sean. I don't know what the question is. What is it? 25 seconds. Who is the f- okay, who is the first American woman to, uh, I don't know, fight a bull on foot <laughs> in <laughs> Mexico? I can't even remember what the question was. Fight a bull on foot? Yes. I, I, I suppose you could do it in horseback. Um, <laughs> who is the first American woman? I mean... I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to say... How would you have a time, Barry? Fucking idea. Do we think it's Beyonce? Conchita Alvarez. <laughs> 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 oh. So you're not going to believe this. <laughs> you are not going to believe this. I think you may have done it, Jen. I mean, the first American woman to fight on foot bullfight in the Plaza Mexico, the world's largest bullfight arena. I need hardly tell you that. <laughs> was, <laughs> was one Conchita <laughs> Alvarez. Unbelievable. No way. No way. Unbelievable. <laughs> Barry, no way. <laughs> no, Barry, of course I not. Don't no, way, I have Barry. no idea. Barry, did you genuinely believe that for a minute? You really did tell it, Barry. You really I, did tell it, Rod. It has to be said. <laughs> I, did, I, I actually did it for a second because I thought, <laughs> I, I thought at first of all, I knew that Jen was making up a name. Then I thought, oh, maybe she knows a female bullfighter. And that uh, was and that was yes. the one. And maybe I just thought maybe I'm out the loop because I don't know much about female bullfighters. <laughs> then then I saw all your reactions and I considered <laughs> pretending that I that I was doing a fake reaction. And then just I thought I'd come loop. clean. Yeah. I love that you thought there was a loop about female bullfighters. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know female bullfighters existed, genuinely. It's a very, I didn't um, Oh, God, you were definitely the wrong person to call. <laughs> I mean, 100% the wrong person to call. I think you'd probably have done better with somebody that does quizzes. Or just someone really in the loop with female bullfighters. Yeah, <laughs> someone more in the loop. Barry! There's a lot of them out there. <laughs> it's a big old yeah. loop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, like, it's a lasso, actually. <laughs> Why didn't you call a quizzer, Sean, or somebody who knew something about know. bullfighting? Yeah, Jen, Bris, what did you call Jen for? I don't well, know. I'm sorry. Can we just can we just re- remember why it is you co- you did call Jen Brister? Can we just yeah yeah? Can we just remind ourselves, Sean, of that? Because you, because of the the Spanish connection, the Spanish connection, and my mum <laughs> yes. is Spanish. Yeah, because you're half Spanish. They thought you might know who the first American bullfighter <laughs> in Mexico was. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, Jen, I'm so sorry. I can only apologise, Jen, for the racial insensitivity of Sean ringing you because your mother was Spanish to talk about bullfighting. Having said that, while we've got you, how would you make a Spanish (laughs) omelette? And if you enjoyed that, why not listen to the whole podcast? It is The Froth, available on... iTunes, uh, iTunes, Acast, Acast, uh, Spotify, Spotify. Anywhere you usually get your podcasts. Wherever you usually get your podcasts, YouTube. You can like, rate, subscribe. Comment, say uh, nice things about it. Comment, say nice things. And hit... Hit the bell icon. Hit at the, the bell icon on YouTube so that you will be alerted when the videos are uploaded. uploaded. Check it out. It is the froth. Yesterday's, Yesterday's non-news, non-news today. today.